this. Where are we at? We're Secret Silver Sands. What's the trick here in the show? I'm going to show you how to turn the lights on because it took us an hour <laughs> to figure this out. Just take your room key, just one of them that they gave you, slip it into this thing. And that's why it took us an hour. Why isn't it working? Ha! Victory. Victory. <laughs> Put it in there and like that and it turns the lights on and gives you the electricity. But the air conditioning works, right? Air conditioning works. All right, cool. What else are you going to show us? I'm going to show you this little door. This is where you put all your food when you're done with it. So that way the iguanas and the birdies don't get to it in the hallway. Is that a cerveza in there? It's a cerveza. Who was drinking that? Oh, that was Johnny Koo who was drinking our cerveza. Uh-oh. I love my cervezas. Ooh. I'm going to save this for later, writing in the sand. Oh, nice. Well played. So they come along and they pick up our food for us, pretty handy. And you can also call down if you get room service and request that they put it in there if you don't want to be disturbed here in your undies. Which has happened to us how many times? Every night. <laughs> what We're honeymooners! What do we got in there? You got a closet with a safe, drawers for your stuff. In this cute little bathroom area that Johnny Koo is taking you into. <laughs> I'm going to use the knife as my pointer. <laughs> you got the hot tub, and there's this little wall that closes if you want to close it. Took us a while to figure that, or took me a while to figure that out. I knew right away. And another wall here to close. Um, what's really nice is this porn-like shower. Is it officially a porn shower? It's a porn shower. And if you come in here, they have the rain shower and the high-pressure hand shower. Another secret that took us a while to figure out you want to turn on the rain shower, you got to pull this out like that and then push it back in if you want to use this one. So for the rain, you have to pull out? Pull out. <laughs> and for the high Make pressure, pull in. Nice. <laughs> now what did we just experience? Oh, our massages? Well, no. When we came back from our massages, we found that all of our stuff was organized. Oh. They're really, really good here with um, cleaning your rooms and everything. Normally, I don't let anybody in my rooms, but I figure, what the hell, I'm on vacation. And they, oh, here's the bathroom, by the way. Aww. Nothing too fancy, just a bathroom with a see-through door. But she took all of our crap and put a little towel under it and organized it, like so. Organized all of our stuff for us. How sweet. And then we also have our our robes here. Hey look, she looped your robe. Huh. And hung up your other one. Nice. Yeah. So they take care of you here. So this is the, the uh, main area where we do our getting ready in the morning, right? Si. Si, senorita. Si, senor John. In here. It's got a closet. Nothing special. What's my favorite part of the place? Oh. Jonathan, I'm glad you asked. That would be the mini bar. What's in that bad boy? Fully stocked with cervezas. You got your Fanta, requested by this guy. You got your Coke, your orange juice, tons of water, your Yo Play, and they come by every day to ask what your requests are so they can stock it up for you. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then here you got your sexy mirror that also duels as the wall that closes sexy up. Mirror, sexy mirror. Which is right next to the boudoir. The boudoir. Mm -hmm. With your really cool lighting and effects. Can, oh yeah, you can't really see it it's here. It's tough to see right now, there's but there's lighting up there that you can turn on at night and it's super, super cool. And um, when we did come here they had little rose petals all over the bed because we're honeymooning. Um, and they also, they pump this scent into all of the rooms every time they clean it. I don't know what they use, like a spray or what, but it smells so good. I've never smelled anything like What do I call it? <laughs> Porn scent? <laughs> Everything's pornography with us, I don't know why. <laughs> Speaking of which, this is more of a warning. 
just in case it's not your thing, we were flipping through the channels and channel 14, between the sports channel and the old Elizabeth Taylor movies, is some really hardcore movies that you may or may not be into. I don't know. Not my thing. It was a surprise. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Channel 14. So ESPN's a no-go? There's, <laughs> there's the ESPN, Elizabeth Taylor, and then you got your... And how did we figure that out? I was watching soccer or watching football. Soccer. We were just flipping through the channels and there it was. And actually that's not the only channel. I, that, that's the hardcore channel. There are some other softer core channels. But what's this we're watching now? This, they have on every time you enter the room from like a cleaning or like when you first enter the room, this really just peaceful, artsy fartsy video playing that's really nice. We're gonna tape it and take it back with us so we can go to bed to it <laughs> at night. Very relaxing. Um, also, you can see she organized our shoes for us too. <laughs> Oh, every day they bring you champagne and they give you a new flower and they set that up for us. And I think they do that for everybody. I don't think it's just honeymooners. Um, we thought we were special, but we're not. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> it's a really nice, comfortable couch that I conked out on the first night. And then... The, got a ceiling fan. Oh yeah, a ceiling fan. Remote turns it on and off. What kind of obviously we have a different kind of room. We have a swim out room. Yeah, we we chose to do the swim out room. We didn't upgrade it. We had the option to upgrade to an ocean view. Don't do it. We yeah, but well, it's it's close to a nice little walkout bar, and it is with the ocean. And um, I think the the bar ladies come by maybe more frequently, so it is really nice if that's your thing. If you love the ocean. Um, but we find that the pool was just fine for us, and she still comes over and asks us if we want drinks and stuff, so. And it's right next to all the restaurants and the concierge. I think it's better. Come on out. Now we're gonna fog up because it's unfortunately very humid out here. Uh-oh. What, <laughs> well, I don't know if we're gonna catch yet, but right now, there are like giant lizard iguanas, not like Florida lizards, but like giant iguanas just hanging out, chilling on people's like chairs and stuff. So beware, that would have freaked me out. Um, and then this is the pool. It's really refreshing. A nice, what, 75 degrees, I guess. Oh, it's warmer than that. It's warm probably closer that? to 80 or 90. Oh, I don't know. It's what like I'm bath about. water. <laughs> but it feels really good. Oh, it is. we're steaming up. Okay. Oh, go back in. No. Nope. Lean in the lens. I see your belly. Boop. And I don't know if you can see this. Well, of course you can't. But your cameraman, my new husband, is wearing his future ex-husband t-shirt, which uh, he's got a lot of compliments on. It's a really good day. People chilling. There's also a really lovely infinity pool, which I think will take you by next. I don't know, eventually. We want to film that. It's steamy out there. <laughs> That's the only downside of what we found in Mexico, is that it's steamy. And not the good steamy, it's the, uh, the hot steamy. What's the good steamy? I don't know. You doing your little dance. So what did we do yesterday? We went to Coba, which I should tell you guys, it's the Coba Mayan Adventure or something like that. And it takes like two hours to get to this little Mayan village, which was really cool because it's a real Mayan village with people who live there and are working there. You just get to see all the kids. It's really, really cool. Um, but then you go canoeing and zip lining, which sounds fun. Um, but we really could have skipped that and chopped the day hat in half and gotten back to the resort. Um, but if that's your thing, it was really neat. They did have crocodile infested waters. We thought they were joking when they said crocodile. They weren't, there were crocodiles. <laughs> and we ziplined over them. And uh, 
After that, they cooked for us an authentic Mayan meal, which was actually probably very Americanized because it was it was really good and didn't upset anybody's stomach or anything like that. We were all worried, like, what are they going to serve us? But it was really, really good. And um, then it was another 20-minute ride to Koba, where they let us climb the pyramid, and that was super neat. And we'll, we'll show that video as part of this as well. Don't worry. We'll, in fact, why don't we just show that video right now? How many people have fallen? The assholes who wore flip flops. <laughs> that video of us climbing the pyramid. I know we're we're torturing people, but hey, that's what we do. Uh, we're a unique family, so. Um, and it, it does take like two and a half hours to get back home, which is is um. Disappointing. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Everybody's trying to go to sleep, and it's, and you're really smelly and dirty. And, yeah. You know, but it was worth it, I guess. I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> I think I'll just stay here on my luxury resort with air conditioning. Yeah. And one point about that, we did get stopped by the Federale, and the uh, machine guns did come out, and we did have to exit the van as they searched us for uh, the marijuana. Um, apparently, there. I don't know if you heard this. Apparently, there's a drug problem here in Mexico. <laughs> Um, we, we haven't felt dan in danger at all, but uh, we did certainly see some uh, of the side effects of that at, when we've been down here. So. Yeah, there's never a point where I felt unsafe or anything. I mean, there, there was the federality part, but you know, it was kind of cool when I wasn't sleeping in the car. <laughs> going through the little villages and stuff, and it really does, um, it opens your eyes to a whole new way of life. Just, you know, you see pictures and books and on TV, but it was pretty crazy seeing it in person. It's definitely not like what you would see at Epcot in the Mexican pavilion. It was not Epcot's Mexican pavilion, no. So if you've been to Epcot, uh, you won't see that here. Um, but it's still pretty neat to see. It's a... Uh, oh. Ooh, I had another idea I wanted to share. Then share. <laughs> they do. What is really cool here at the resort is they, um, instead of like, I, and it might be your thing to go off the resort and go to the bazaars and um, the actual cities to go do your shopping and things. Um, if you're wimps like us, we don't want to leave the resort. We just want to. Well, we out. technically did leave the resort to go to we the middle of the Aztec resort. jungle. But would we do it by ourselves? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I would. But what's cool is they bring like the bazaars and the sell the salespeople to you. Like people come and um, sell their goods, their jewelry, their crafts, and their dresses. It's really high pressured sales, but it's a lot of fun. It's a real experience. They have set it all up right here on the resort one night. Um, and I got a really cute dress for 20 bucks. And oh, they also bring jewelry to you too. They had um, jewelry girls come and set up. That was not 20 bucks, but <laughs> my poor husband. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun too. So you don't necessarily have to leave to get some cool things brought to you and have a chance to look at some. So you can feel safe and, and get the Mexican experience without having to go anywhere, right? Si, senor.
Sí, señoritas. Sí, señor. Muy bien. What is your uh, favorite thing so far? Oh. Well, uh, I guess the uh, other important thing here is we've been here for four days now. And neither one of us has gotten sick, and we've been drinking everything under the sun, margaritas. So you can it's trust the water food. on. Yeah, you can trust the water. You can trust the food. That's one of our main concerns. Is we were worried about that, and uh, I, I know from my perspective, I've only gained a pound and a half. So that's that's a that's a favorable thing. Um, and also, again, you know, we've been drinking margaritas, mixed drinks, with any kind of slushy types of drinks. No problem whatsoever. Even on our mining experience, we did go to a. Um, uh, we drank out of a, a water thing and we were fine there. Again, make sure it's 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 clearly crystal water, I think it's called down here. Yeah. But make sure it's that because that's purified water. But otherwise, uh, we haven't gotten sick or had any problems otherwise. Yeah, and the resort, is everything is purified and, and good to go. And we don't get hangovers because of all the food we eat. I think our favorite restaurant so far is the Mexican restaurant, you think? Oddly enough, we're in Mexico. <laughs> it's I don't know if it's real Mexican food, but it is quite delicious and... Um, What's our hangover medicine? The breakfast buffet is really good. The lunch buffet is really good. And we've tried all the restaurants so far, and they're all just, they're all superb. And what's our hangover cure that we've been using so oh, far? Um, room service. Even after we're fully stuffed from our meals at dinner time, when we come back and we're three sheets to the wind, we order a club sandwich every night with some rice on the side, and we are good to go in the morning. Sleep like babies, get up bright and early and ready to go drink some more. <laughs> and we do. We do. What's your favorite part of this trip so far? Well, you. Well, besides me. What um, do we do this afternoon? Well, for me, my favorite part is the food and eating nonstop and sleeping by the pool, but the spa was awesome. I forced this guy into a um, couple's massage. They, oh, that's really cool. Where's our little letters? Well, it's super neat. They give you a little newsletter every day so you can see um, what they're going to be doing. They give you the weather. They give you all the fun little stuff that they're going to be doing. Um, tonight is an American Idol show that I'm really looking forward to. And then they also give you the coupon of the day. And also, just to let you know, we did use Tuesday's coupon and today is Thursday. We went to the spa and they told us that we could not use Tuesday's coupon. And they were really nice. They ended up letting us go ahead and do it today, but the, just for future reference for anybody, you have to use the deal of the day on the day that they give it to you. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, they usually have some kind of coupon, 185 bucks for a couple's massage when it's normally like 200 and something. Um, romantic dinner on the beach. And then on the back, they have all the different fun activities that they're gonna be doing. I don't know what the crazy game is. It looks pretty crazy though. It's in the pool. And uh, wine tasting. Ooh, we missed the wine tasting the other day, I guess. So it's pretty snazzy. I like that they have all these things for someone who's organized and stuff like us. We want to know what we have available to us. So. Yeah. What's your least favorite thing so far? I don't have any complaints. What could possibly be there to complain about here? They're driving. If we they drive like crap down here. But we're not driving around. Now I'd say if I had one complaint, it's just that I think at nighttime the air conditioning gets turned down a little bit to save energy because um, they, they think that it's cooler outside, which I mean it is cooler, so it does get a little warm at night, but nothing too terrible or anything. I mean I still sleep through the night, you know, and throughout the day the air conditioning is pumping, so. Yeah. I guess that's if I had to find something, that would be it. That's it.
All right. So would you recommend the uh, poolside room or go with the uh, other rooms? Oh, see, I would recommend the, <laughs> I would recommend the, uh, the poolside room, definitely. I would definitely concur with that. I think the nice part is being able to just kind of walk out your room and go to the pool. Again, generally another thing was that these poolside rooms tend to be a little bit quieter. Um, so they're only going to be the folks that are actually having the poolside. Um, so you get some benefit there. Uh, and unless you're looking for just total chaos, get the uh, poolside room. Um, but we liked it. We liked the fact that, again, the, the, uh, my hand's never been empty since we've been here, which is always nice. And again, it's really pretty out there. So, but uh, I guess we'll just leave you with that right now. And I'm sure we'll have other videos to show uh, of our little fun stay here in Mexico. Secrets uh, Silver Sand, Riviera Maya, Mexico. Uh, this is Colleen over there. I'm John, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.